Hey guys, it's Flea from Flea Reads. So, right now, it's half term, but next week I have exams. I just have a week of exams. Just, just a week of exams. <laughs> and also a bit. How about you? I don't know if your exams are next week or at the end of term. But I've, this is the first proper exams I've ever really had, except for the entrance exam. So I'm just kind of learning uh, for like revising. Um, so I'm going to share with you my top five revision tips for exams. So number one, make a timetable and a checklist. So I went to Excel on my computer and I made this checklist which has all the things that I have to do which is like infinitives for French and um, all that stuff and I've got revised and practiced so I can tick them off when I've done that topic, uh, when I've revised the topic and I think I've completely revised the topic and I'm down with the knowledge. Um, and then I made this beautiful, wonderful, it's really a work of art, you know, it's, it's quality work this beautiful timetable so I know what I'm doing on Sunday I don't have anyth anything to do until 5 there and then Monday, Tuesday yeah. so having a timetable make sure you need you cover everything equally and having a checklist make sure you cover everything that will come up in questions so number two stationary now stationary is very important your flashcards all your life it's really important to have useful stationery to help you revise. Flashcards are perfect because you can take them wherever you go. You can just like, um, before you do something, you can just take them out. Put the question on one side, the answer on, on the other side, so you know, like, yeah. And also, coloured pens, because colours help you remember. It's been scientifically proven. Oh, don't forget to enter my Smiggle giveaway. I'll leave a link up there. Tip number three, use the interweb. Now, the interweb is really useful, and our school, all our maths and computing, well, not all our maths, because we do our maths in our books, but some of our maths is online. So, we actually have, for computer science, these games, like Flippy Bit, so, you have to, you're, so you'll see something like F1, and you have to translate it into binary, and it turns it into, like, a game, and people get really competitive with the game, <laughs> it's, like, trying to be each other's scores and it's really funny so also a really good useful is the BBC Bite Size website you can watch videos you can do quizzes and then you can do um, you can just learn a load of stuff on that and it's a good way to remember things because just reading books endlessly and endlessly can get really bored and then you don't really remember or you can be like I don't even know why I'm doing this anymore here is an important student advisory do not get distracted by watching anime in man case or Netflix. Don't get distracted. Number four is ask your mum or your dad to buy you some revision books. Now, these aren't really expensive and you can draw in them, you can highlight them, you can write, you can write all over them. But they're really useful because they help you revise a lot. Now, these are really good because they have different types of questions in them. What about this question for an example? Read this letter content, which has been written in an informal style. Change it to a more formal style, but keeping the same facts and information. Hi, Baz. Sauce, I wasn't able to get to your business lunch last Friday. I was really looking forward to it, and I was all ready to leave the house when my sis arrived at my house, at the house for a surprise visit! Exclamation point, exclamation point. Sauce, Baz. I tried to <laughs> ring you, but your phone was busy when I rang. Laters, wazza. That, that's a wonderful letter, I think. I don't see what's wrong with that. Now, number five might sound a little bit weird, but it's completely true. Don't revise too much. If you have 40-minute periods with 10-minute breaks in between, then um, you won't get all stressed. Like, um, 40 minutes at our age is the perfect time to remember things. So if you just sit there for, like, three hours, then you're not going to remember anything. You, you're probably going to be asleep by the end. So in my timetable, these sections are all 40-minute periods, and they have 10-minute breaks in between. But I've also got lots of free time, so I don't have a stress or anything. So, like, this whole day, I've got a day out in London, and on one day, I'm going to see my friend. 
and I've got some free time here and on the last day I've got some more free time so I can get a good night's rest um, before the exams start because that's really important. Oh and also even if it looks like I'm revising the whole day we'll have breaks, take the dog for a walk, have lunch, do that sort of stuff. So yeah. So those were my fair revision tips. I don't know if they'll be very useful because I'm still quite new to exams, but leave in the comments if you have any revision tips or exam horror stories that you'd like to share with. Um, but thank you. Um, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. Good luck with your exams. Bye!